Brilliance Audio presents the unabridged recording of *The Secret Mistress* by Mary Balog, performed by Anne Flosnick. Chapter One. Lady Angeline Dudley was standing at the window of the tap room in the Rose and Crown Inn, east of Reading. Quite scandalously, she was alone there. But what was she to do? The window of her own room looked out only upon a rural landscape. It was picturesque enough, but it was not the view she wanted. Only the tap room window offered that, looking out as it did upon the inn yard into which any new arrival was bound to ride. Angeline was waiting with barely curbed impatience for the arrival of her brother and guardian, Jocelyn Dudley, Duke of Tresham. He was to have been here before her, but she had arrived an hour and a half ago, and there had been no sign of him. It was very provoking. A string of governesses over the years, culminating in Miss Pratt, had instilled in her the idea that a lady never showed an excess of emotion. But how was one not to do so when one was on one's way to London for the season, one's first, and one was eager to be there so that one's adult life could begin in earnest at last? Yet one's brother had apparently forgotten all about one's very existence and was about to leave one languishing for ever at a public inn, a day's journey away from the rest of one's life. Of course, she had arrived here ridiculously early. Tresham had arranged for her to travel this far under the care of the Reverend Isaiah Coombs and his wife and two children before they went off in a different direction to celebrate some special anniversary with Mrs. Coombs's relatives. And Angeline was transferred to the care of her brother, who was to come from London. The Coombses arose each morning at the crack of dawn, or even earlier, despite yawning protests from the junior Coombses, with the result that their day's journey was complete.